everybody, welcome back to Video MSO Tarek, and I got a random episode for you guys this Tuesday because you were going to be watching Prehistoric Isle, which you'll watch next week. But even though I did a video on the new Mr. Neo Geo CD Core on Friday, it has already been updated and sound is here. Now it's not complete sound, but I will get into that in just a little bit. But I decided to push the Neo Geo series out one week because I really wanted to get you guys hyped and excited about the changes to this core because they're coming fast and quick. Before we get too far involved though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, and subscribe. That notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But you guys were super excited last week to hear a new GeoCD core was in the works for Mister, and it came out last Tuesday, the build on GitHub. I did a video on it on Friday, and by late Saturday or early Sunday, the core had been updated, and now we have audio. Now, it's not CDDA audio or the Red Book audio that you would expect for the musical background tracks, but the sound effects and the Yamaha chip are now working on this core. So now, as opposed to playing completely mute, we have all of the sound effects, and any game that didn't use Red Book audio, something like Puzzle Bobble, is going to have its full audio soundtrack available to you. And that is hyper impressive of considering that this core is basically only like eight days old at this point in time. It kind of feels like when Robert was developing the PlayStation 1 core, he'd release an update on a Monday and more games would play, and then by the middle of next week suddenly some of them would have sound. And I love taking a look at how the sausage gets made, and I know a lot of you guys love watching the testing and like getting involved in it as well, so let me show you how you want to do that. If you go over to the main Mr. Discord and go to the Neo Geo channel and take a look at the pinned messages, you will see the BIOS files you need, and you're going to just place those in the root Neo Geo games directory like you did with the Neo Geo BIOS files on my Neo Geo core setup guide. I'll leave a link below in case you need a refresher there. Secondarily, you're going to need an unstable nightly Mr. build because this does share code with the Mega CD core and they're testing for regressions before this goes into the main Mr. update. So you need to make sure you back up that Mr. file on the root of your SD card and drop the new one on. It's not that hard, just make sure you back your old one up for safety in case anything happens and goes wrong and the last thing you're going to need is the core file marked 217 that's in the neo geo channel pinned as well once you get all those things going all you need to do is load up the core and change the system type to cd and you can pick whatever region you want just make sure you also bind your controls anytime you're using a new core or a new controller you need to do that then just navigate to wherever you put your Neo Geo CD files. I put a Neo Geo CD folder nested inside my Neo Geo folder just for organization. And then you'll see everything boots up and we are playing Neo Geo CD. I'll do a much more comprehensive core setup guide when it's further along in development. But what is here so far is incredible. I can't believe we've gone from this core not existing to playing games to now playing games with audio. Something like ASO2 here. One of the deeper cut shmups, it's another game people asked me if it was running so I decided to test it. I do have this on both Neo Geo CD and an AES copy and I will say if you've never played it before, definitely give it a shot. But as far as the gameplay is concerned, it is perfect to my eye and the sound effects sound exactly like I would expect them to sound. And that is great. Now don't forget if you hear a little scratchy sound effect here or there, the Neo Geo CD just kinda had scratchy sounds, as did the Neo Geo. Some of the audio hardware in there can sometimes sound a little scratchy and muffled, that is to be expected, but playing something like King of Fighters 95 and now with the sound effects is so much more fun than playing it mute. And from a development standpoint, it is so fun just to see what work goes into this. Because don't forget, the Neo Geo AES and MVS used a sound chip to produce everything. When you get to the Neo Geo CD, it has the ability to do arranged soundtracks with CD DA audio. Basically, that's why you can put the disc in a CD ROM player or a compact disc player and play the tracks two through however many there are on there. One's usually the data track. Never play that, it's really loud. But go ahead and listen to how good Puzzle Bobble sounds, because if this isn't identical to real hardware, I can't tell. But I'll be right back.
Not only is that one of the most iconic soundtrack tracks on the Neo Geo or Neo Geo CD, it sounds spectacular here, but leave me a comment down below and tell me how you think it sounds. Now do be aware that there is no fast loading involved in this course so far. So many of you asked me about that. Maybe it'll come in the future, but currently it is loading at the same speed as a front loader or top loader Neo Geo CD, and CDZ BIOS isn't really working. And you're definitely going to encounter some issues. If you see this screen here, something like Metal Slug 2 or other games where you can't actually see the game, go into to the fix layer or fix layer and turn it off suddenly you'll have the game's graphics but you'll lose the heads up display seems to be a little bit of an issue with the layering of the background and the foreground and i'm sure it will get fixed in future updates but if you do see that kind of missing graphic go ahead and toggle that and you will see that nine out of ten times you're going to get the graphics coming up now some games are just buggier than others. Something like Metal Slug 2 here is chugging and screen tearing way worse than an AES or MVS copy would. That is not to say that Metal Slug 2 was the smoothest running game of all time. It was definitely the opposite. But you can even see as that screen scrolls, we're getting a little bit of graphical corruption. Just remember, it's work in progress. These are things that are to be expected. And I actually like seeing them. It gives you a little bit of a background into how these things are developed and how the hardware actually works with the different layers layers and things you can see. And sometimes like a Metal Slug 2 here, when it goes to load the next stage, it's just going to black screen and that's all you get. But go ahead and take a listen to the sound effects on Fatal Fury Special and see just what is and isn't working. It's like 20 seconds to come back and tell you more about the core. Three, fight! Ready? It's not like listening to sound effects is the most exciting thing in the world, but what it does delineate is just how the hardware handles audio. Some audio, like sound effects in the game, are going to be handled by the onboard chip. And on the Neo Geo CD, the games that have arranged soundtracks, they're going to spool in with that CD DA audio, which obviously is not here yet. But another awesome game you can play, and that is the cool thing about this core. About a third of the library is booting and playable, and I don't really see many issues whatsoever. Another third of the library seems to have some issues, but you can play it. And the other third, and it's pretty much down the line, 3-3-3, three, three, and three, it just will not load whatsoever. But something like Robo Army here, it sounds exactly as it should, at least for the sound effects. The gameplay is working exactly how to expect that I have it on AES, and it loads between levels as well. And that's what you're going to find so far. Your mileage may vary depending on what game you want to play. But this is amazing progress so early on, and it is spectacular to see this. I love the Neo Geo CD, and I was really hoping we would get a core because there are some exclusive games, and the arranged soundtrack in a lot of spots is just an awesome time to hear a different version of the track you know and love, and so many of the Neo Geo CD games have that arranged soundtrack. It is so much fun that we are getting this, but if you've never played this game, I can't recommend it enough. It's a ton of fun, and I played through the fourth level on this, almost got to the end, but decided I needed to move on with my day, but it does seem to be the type of game that you could complete right now on the Neo Geo CD Core, and that is fun. It's great just to watch the development of these things, and I love taking a look at the Neo Geo games from different generations. Something like Robo Army here is earlier in the Neo Geo's life, and it just has a different look. Or something like Blue's Journey here, a game that you're not going to hear many people mention on the Neo Geo, has a Neo Geo CD version, and it is playing quite nicely on the current core. And I'm sure as this core gets updated, once the audio comes in, more people are probably going to discover a game like this, maybe if they missed it on the Neo Geo AES and MVS core. But for my money, if you want to see what the core can do today, Puzzle Bobble is your pick. Not only is it one of the best games of all time on the Neo Geo, it has audio that's currently working on Mister, and it gives you a real sense of what it sounds like and what the core can do outside of spooling in that Red Book audio. But yeah, it's just a lot of fun to check this stuff out. 
and you guys wanted to see me test more games on the work in progress score and that's exactly what I did and now you can play them with sound and it's amazing that this got done the update within five days of the core being built off that github repository and obviously if the core gets updated again I'll bring you more videos but I'm not going to be doing a testing series like I do with the Saturn just because there's not that many games short of that I hope you enjoyed this random Tuesday interruption we'll be back with Nerval Neo Geo next week and I'll see you guys next time bye bye